Nurgle has no braced spear or halberd infantry whatsoever in this game. You are looking at an armor-piercing, bruiser unit with the mark of Nurgle to keep it safer. Is that enough? Let's find out. Costing 525 default to recruit, so 1050 for Kugath in campaign. 131 upkeep per turn gets you 120 entities with 10,200 health on Ultra, like the base version. Armor is still 15, but no shield, naturally. Leadership is 60, and there's a lot worse out there, but it's not dwarf level, that's for sure. Speed is 35, which feels speedy compared to some things out there, like zombies. Melee attack is 29 base, and you get poison with the deal. Attack interval is a relatively slow 4.6, with melee defense of only 25, which sounds awful. Weapon strength is 30, with 7 base and 23 armor piercing. I have just described 90% of the value of the unit. Charge bonus is 22, and mass is 100. For the redline stuff, I'll point you straight to my base version video. Short version is, you get armor and melee defense early, and speed, melee attack, and missile resistance late, and 10 armor from attack. Given that this is a Nurgle unit, yet has low defense, this has the potential to shore up the unit quite a bit. As for how you use it, that's blindingly obvious. Leave tanking to others, and go seeking the most armored opponents you can. That's going to get interesting if it's Grimgore or an Arachnorok spider, but Storm Vermin with halberds or something along those lines? They're going to feel it. And by it, I mean blunt trauma to the head, face, armor, and tail. It's not complicated at all, but I point you to the above for something rather important. Charge bonus is 22. That's for more than the base version. As tough as it might be in practice, this is best used as a cycle charge shock infantry unit. Good luck making that work, but sources of melee attack are difficult with this faction, so try to make the best of it. Take care and have fun cracking some skulls for someone not corn.